How's it going everybody? God be here once again. Thank you for clicking into one of my videos. We are here with the very first ever, at least on our channel, with NCA Football 2025. We are creating a dynasty. We are a recruiter because obviously I am big on uh, building a team and NCA Football is great because you can only have people for up to four years, obviously um, four years to play with them, I, I should say, because if you redshirt them, technically you have five years, but four years of actual play time. But other than that, we're hopefully going to recruit well and play even better. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Before we get too far into this video, I do want to share that the current episode, I shall call it, is going to be purely a simulated season. I don't want to start playing the Dynasty until technically season three, the first two seasons. So again, the second episode is also going to be a simulated season, but I'm going to show you guys my recruiting process, who we add to the team, who we scout in general, our busts, our gems, all of that uh, fun and frustrating process because I'm not uh, <laughs> very, very good at scouting or playing the game yet. At this point, I am in year three in terms of my play of this, um, and I know what happens. I know, so I'm not going to spoil any of that for you guys, but uh, obviously being a smaller school, not a very good school, all these other schools are a pain in the complete ass to compete against. That's why, as you guys can slightly see as I go through the players here, a lot of them don't have any scholarships offered to them. As soon as I see a big school offer a scholarship, I remove them from my board and I move on to a different player, which is why Bradley Butt is no longer <laughs> our priority quarterback. And a little bit of me, uh, or a lot of me, I should say, is uh, pleased that we are not going to have a Mr. Butt leading our offense for the next uh, <laughs> three years. As you guys see us uh, take him away there, so... Uh, you know what? I'm happy he's gone. <laughs> we just got to hopefully get a Tito Cordero um, or pick up a couple other uh, quarterbacks that we end up adding to our board at a, a later time. But uh, yeah, very fun in all of this. And uh, it's been a process. A, uh, as I said earlier, a uh, an annoying process at times. We, we do find some gems. We obviously try to add gems to our board, get them a scholarship, if not add some time to them. We are focusing heavily on quarterback, which you saw a scout early on. This is going to be our schedule early on. Uh, and uh, we obviously hope that we win a lot of games our first season. It would suck to lose, especially during uh, that schedule visit <laughs> when that actually happens to uh, get people to fly in. But we will try to put people together very early on in this season. Obviously, as I mentioned, we're focusing on QB, offensive line, wide receivers. We do end up trying to get quarterbacks and we're purely focusing on the recruiting board trying to get that less time to scout players which is helping us tremendously in terms of not wasting so many of our allocated hours just on figuring out how people look and then we lose to the washington huskies that's like the one game i was hoping we would win even though uh we lost to an fcs school out of all of them that was the one guaranteed win i thought was going to happen just to kind of pad the record in terms of that plus one but that wasn't even the case they beat us by a decent bit for being what a 66 or 68 or even a 64 overall i'm pretty sure i show i chose the lowest overall week one just to again start off with a win well we went oh and three and it took us until the spartans to win a game and go one and three for, through the first quarter of the season and again showing you guys all of the gems the bust and now we got boise state here who's also one and two and we lose by double digits against them as well but again purely just focusing on recruiter we will um, obviously work into the motivator get the 25 points into there and ultimately aim for the uh, talent developer because not only do I want the players that I scout to be higher overalls, I want that talent developer to progress our players to their full potential. 
I want, and you see that our one of the only two or three, <laughs> four stars we were chasing, the Oregon Ducks steal from us and actually get him to uh, commit to their scholarship that they offered. So we're going to continuously try to transition into the defensive side of the ball, and you see that we're only finding a bunch of busts. Offensively, we can find some gems. You just saw we found uh, another running back to add to uh, our team, and Cordero commits to us, Lawrence commits, Bolin commits. Like, our team with three wide receivers with the addition of Santana and then an offensive lineman is set offensively. Our quarterback has three phenomenal talents to distribute the ball to. We got one of our offensive linemen. And you guys, I'm going to tell you now, go back and pause on Mr. Julius Suggs there. Man is a monster. He's a power running back. I've been purposely looking for them one cut backs as we get a fourth wide receiver commit. Our second offensive lineman. But Mr. Suggs at running back. Is going to be our starter. I'll go ahead and spoil that to you guys now. Um, he's a big boy, 93 speed, good trucking. I like them one cut, those Darren McFadden type guys. Obviously, Darren McFadden didn't have like a phenomenal career. He had like one, maybe two good seasons, and then he kind of uh, puttered out and is no longer <laughs> seen in uh, the NFL. But that's not the point. You know, more so DeMarco Murray. He had a better career. Let's just use him as an example. We're going to have our collegiate version of a DeMarco Murray and uh, just go off as we get our third offensive lineman commit. And again, continuously trying to work on our defensive side of the ball since we are getting our commits, freeing up those hours. We can you know, scout more. We can try to figure out where all these gems are as now we can fully scout every position and we're working on getting additional um, interest with the actions that we take with our players as the season itself is coming to an end we lose a chance at a third running back there with uh it was like farboni or fabani or something like that uh, kind of an italian name but julius suggs commits to the team i kind of spoiled that one but uh i he's he's a beast i, I love the fact his stats were phenomenal which is one i wanted you guys to go back and pause that um I'm a very run heavy guy and I'm going to have fun playing with this guy. Uh, again, I've played four games as of yet at this current moment in time. Um, and I will say as Virginia Tech, Chiron Drones wins Heisman and we get another running back commit. Our first defensive commit, second defensive commit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and clean the uh, the roster <laughs> in terms of our coaches. We're going to remove both of them. We're going to go for these two coordinators, and we get them both. And you see James Jeremiah with that talent developer, so we can get an early head start on getting at least a mild amount of progression with our players. His were more defensive-based, and we drafted drafted <laughs> scouted and recruited very offensively heavy as we're only gonna get two of our uh, transfers persuaded to stay we lose a 80 overall redshirt freshman offensive lineman that one sucked that one hurt my feelings i was hoping to have a phenomenal offensive line with um our cardero quarterback but we had the 44th best overall recruiting class, one four star, 23 um, three stars. But you're going to see that we have a lot of great developments. Impact, 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 elite, star, star, elite, star again, impact, 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 normal, sucks to see, but impact, impact, star, star. And then impact for Cardero. I was really hoping it was going to be star or uh, elite. Obviously, who would not want an elite quarterback? But I had to take him as soon as I saw all those physicals and mentals. Um, as you guys see right there, it was a no brainer. Had to take him again. I was really hoping for, you know, like one of those cheat code type of quarterbacks. Lamar Jackson, you know, 90 plus speed, 90 plus throw power. But uh, 
unfortunately it didn't really pan out that way for us in this recruiting class hopefully we'll pick one up in the next one and the next one and the next one and we'll just always have somebody that type of caliber that we can kind of uh make sure we win games because if uh, there's nobody to throw to because my reads are asked because i got to learn the game we can always just scramble out and uh, pick up what we can and sort of taking a sack which uh <clears throat> might be a pre cursor <laughs> in the future when we actually start playing games in that year three but again we are redshirting absolutely everybody that we just scouted or recruited here other than one of our kickers because uh, i couldn't transition one of the kickers to a punter um, which we will do in season two but uh, we were incapable of doing so in year one here but uh, the overall actually went up a little bit despite us not playing any of the players that we added to the team because, again, we are redshirting them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, the speed through of the season, showcasing the gems, the bust that we found, and overall who we got to commit, um, the overall process itself. Next video will be a much the same, but the third episode, hopefully you guys will look forward to it because that's when we start actually playing some games. Thank <laughs> you.